Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 11 of The Rookie and the Vet. Today is all about wrapping up our 2021 virtual ride. The Rookie and the Vet series is all about informing you about what the Healing Cycle Foundation does, how important the work that hospice and palliative care centers are, and encouraging you to get involved in the local hospice in your community. My name is Mallory McGrath, AKA The Rookie, and I'm from the millennial generation, those born between 1981 and 1996. And hi, everyone. I'm Ron Cassies. I'm the chair of the Healing Fi Foundation, and I'm the vet. Um, the hair color obviously gives it away. And I'm from the boomer generation, uh, 1946 to 64, believe it or not. So that's a while back. <laughs> we're really excited here at the Rookie and the Vet because we're actually going to wrap up our 2021 virtual ride by thanking all of our participants and sponsors this year. Yeah, we certainly are, Mallory. This was another virtual ride, and uh, we raised $78,745, and that was almost the same as last year's amount, which is kind of interesting, actually, because I think That's we had great. less riders, but it was still really good. And we also raised over $18,000 in sponsorship money, which was a record for our foundations. I'm really happy about that, too. Amazing. I think we should start by talking about all of the teams that joined in for this year's virtual ride. They raised funds, they got out there and did their kilometers in the heat and the lots of rain that we had in the month of September, and they really put the focus on how, helping hospice and palliative care centers in Ontario. Yeah, we've, uh, I think the actual day of the ride was rainy day again, too. If we would have had the real ride, I think it was rainy. Oh, yeah. Day, so it was last year. So we've, you know, in one sense, we've missed out on a couple of bad days. But uh, yeah, actually, let's say uh, congratulations to um, all our teams. And I'll, I'll start by thanking uh, the Cycle for Bethel Hospice team, the Hazel Burns Hospice team, and the Hard House Hospice team. There's the Holy Dinah team, the IPC Dream team, and the K Blair Hospice team. Uh, that first team is very dear to my heart, the Holy Dinah team. Um, the name behind it, I don't know if you know that, but there was a, an uncle, I think, in the family that used to say Holy Dinah instead of Holy SH. You know what? Oh, yeah. That's, that's where they got the name from. <laughs> that's a great name. Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, what a, what other the, teams do you have? I've got the Kensington Spokes of Care, the Pedal Pushers of Niagara on the Lake. They're, they're our number one team, actually. And the Ride Walk of, uh, for Rohan. We've also got the Small Tour de France, Team Concept, the Oddballs, and Wesco from Annexter. Great. And then uh, we had a few individual riders, and I'm just going to thank them by last name. There was Ibrahim, Gulab, Hannah, and Usha. Thanks again for riding, guys. And not only were our teams and riders out in full force this year, but we also had a record year in terms of sponsorship. And Ron, as you know, without sponsors, we're unable to give 100% of the funds raised back to the hospice and palliative care centers. Exactly. So, hosp so sponsors are really invaluable to the work that we do here at the Healing Cycle. Mm -hmm. So let me start by listing our seven returning sponsors this year. And thank you so much for your continued support. Annexter, Access Communication, CI Investments, Dynamic Funds, Fidelity, IPC, and McKenzie Financial. And we also had eight new sponsors this year, which I was really happy to see. And like I said earlier, we set a record, so that was nice. So our, yeah. um, our, those sponsors are Catherine Hero Communications, uh, CIBC, uh, Collaborative Aging, Lesieville Kinesiology, and we're gonna say something about them in a second, Leuna. Um, we also have Shakor, Side Drawer, and Whole Foods. So amazing that we had so many great sponsors turn out mm -hmm. this year. And Ron, I'll give credit where credit's due. You brought in a lot of them. You did a yeah, great I job I had a this year. With that. Yeah. yeah, I think you did. Now yeah. you had mentioned something about Leslieville Kinesiology. Now, thank you mm -hmm. so much to Leslieville Kinesiology. They donated a five hundred dollar gift card for us to actually raffle off. So we went through and put in all of our top participants in this little Ziploc bag. I wrote your names down, and we're actually going to pick someone who gets a five hundred dollar gift card to go to Leslieville kinesiology i'll say on a side note that i actually went there and saw dave he's mm -hmm. incredible and i really advanced far in strengthening and working a lot of muscles that needed a lot of work and so i think mm -hmm. that this 500 hundred dollar gift card is a wonderful gift so let's yeah. see what lucky rider is going to get it. Yeah. the winner is bill taylor 
Oh, congratulations, Bill. Congratulations, Bill Taylor. We'll be getting in contact with you and connecting you with Dave over at Leslieville Kinesiology. That's great. So amazing. I, I might go see Dave too. I had two hits in my non-contact hockey game last night. I'm really sore today. <laughs> That's interesting that you had two hits in a non-contact yeah. hockey game. Night. Well, one I did because I think the guy deserved it. So anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been an incredible year, Ron, you know, hockey hitting aside, we've had quite a year here and again, gone through our second virtual ride dealing with the restrictions of COVID-19, knowing that some people were comfortable getting together and some weren't. And I think we made a really good call in keeping it a virtual ride and allowing mm -hmm. everyone to move at their own pace and comfort mm -hmm. and still be able to support the hospice and palliative mm -hmm. care centers that we, we, we care so much about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got one more group I'd like to thank, Mallory, if, if you don't mind. Uh, Go you know, for I am, it. I am the chair of the foundation, but there's a great team <laughs> behind us. And there's, you know, our board is a totally volunteer board. And then we have some part-time staff who, who support us as well. So in alphabetical order, um, I'd like to thank Catherine and Colin and Cynthia and Gary, uh, Helen, uh, Jackie, who just finished on the board recently, uh, Jane, uh, Mallory, that's you, obviously. Um, and just so everybody knows, Mallory's joined the board for almost a year and we've yet to meet in person. So anyways. I know. <laughs> Hopefully scary. soon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then we've also got Pearl and Robert. So that's the, uh, that's, that's our team. So thanks yeah. very much everyone for your support. Mm -hmm. It has been a really great year and we've all worked really hard to hopefully raise as much money as we can for these much needed institutions. I feel really honored to be a part of such a great group of individuals as well as the teams and the participants and the sponsors who came out this year to support our cause. Well, Ron, this has been fun. 2021 <laughs> Rookie in the Vet first season. I don't know what we have in store for season two, but that's definitely mm -hmm. going to be a part of the brainstorming we've got coming up. So yeah. I'm sure there'll be an announcement made as to what our plans are for season two, hopefully in the new year. But I don't know about you, but I'd love to come back and learn more about all of the support and services that hospice and palliative care centers provide. Yeah, so would I. Like I've been, I've been doing the ride and then being part of the board since 2008. But I think I learned the most I ever have this year just by doing this series. So it was a great idea. Um, I agree. And, um, I'm glad that I can participate as as the vet. Yeah. Well, I've enjoyed being your rookie this whole time. I've learned a lot from you, Ron. Great. Well, thanks uh, for your, your help doing this, Mallory. It's been wonderful. Of course. And thank you to everybody that watches. And please feel free to send any comments or thoughts that you have about the series or any suggestions for season two. We would love to hear them. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Wonderful. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.